Hi, my name is Rebecca Lord Gardner, and along with Liz Shepard, we run Shepard and Maudsley Studio here in West Newton, Massachusetts. I'd like to give you the opportunity to take a little brief tour of what we offer. Here we are in the silkscreen printing room, and we have many tables for people to be able to screen print at the same time. And as we move through the space, you can also see that we have um, a very large etching and relief printing room. I believe we have three presses in this space. And we also have access to equipment and materials that you don't necessarily have to supply yourselves. Uh, but if you're interested in printing your own edition work, then we might advise you to have some of your own equipment on hand. But as you can see, we have really nice brayers that are hanging out on our brayer wall. And we also have spaces within this large printmaking studio for people to have their own personal print area. Something that we like to provide for people who don't rent space from us, but they rent time, is we do have, we have large uh, workspaces. As we move through the space, you can see here we are at our lunch table, which unfortunately we're not able to participate in due to COVID. Uh, but before COVID, one of the things that we enjoyed being able to do is to take a break from our printmaking and having the opportunity to talk about uh, the art that we're working on or anything else that is uh, taking place in our lives. And the theme of the Boston Printmakers Connect show really is what is highlighted as part of uh, the Shepherd and Maudsley studio because we connect here and create a really wonderful community of artists and uh, printmakers. And as we move further through the studio space, which is 6,000 square feet, we're in the, the back end, or the back 40, as we like to say, we have the opportunity to have people in slightly more um, private studio spaces, but we also have access to a large fabric printing table, which is 11 feet long. And we can print paper or textiles on it. So thank you so much for coming to being able to see a brief tour of the studio. Reach us um, via our website, which is shepherdmaudsleystudio.com. I'm Sharon Hayes. I'm from uh, Andover, Massachusetts, and I'm a member of the Boston Printmakers and the executive board and have been for approximately nine years. Um, my studio is at the Shepherd Mosley Studio in West Newton. During the COVID pandemic, the studio, through the direction of Liz Shepherd and Rebecca Gardner, maintained an amazing artist community with the members through daily Zoom meetings, projects, and even Zoom classes, until we were able to cautiously return to the studio, observing the restrictions and guidelines presented by the state. This community created a very strong core and focus of a wonderful and productive group of artists. The piece that I created uh, for the Providence Art Club Connect Show is a variable edition entitled Connection. The concept of this image was generated a year ago, last January, when my three sisters and myself walked together across the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Our youngest sister had recently successfully completed her chemotherapy protocol, and we felt the journey across the bridge, connecting one side to the other, was a symbolic gesture of her success and journey. The silkscreen background reflects the fragility and individual of the individual threads of the fabric, um, and the but the strength that they offer when woven together, much like family, and the power of the huge bridge connecting one to the other. This spawned an interest in a series of bridges that I am currently working on. 
using monoprints and silk screens to create bridges in varying stages of connecting and disconnecting. The first one allowing to be uh, the uncertainty of connecting and then the foggy bridge. Several images and stages of uncertainty and disconnect and the uncertainty of crossing a bridge. This particular image represents a bridge crossing in Pennsylvania um, that we cycled across with my brother. Uh, again, the woven connect and broken threads represent family bonds that with powerful metal framework of the bridge represents that unity of a family. Other projects that I've been working on would be a series of dresses in various forms and medium. The metal dress is a, a collagraph which reflects a, a connection with the past and a passage of time with family and children. The glasses, my own and my dad's, these are silk screen and layers of fabric that I joined together to create a fading imagery. Finally, I am working on a woodblock, developing a contained imagery. The strength and the fragile threads and the con is contained by these bold lines. I enjoyed sharing my studio with you, and thank you.
Hi, I'm Chris Johns. I make silkscreen prints. Uh, I've been a member of the studio here for about a year and a half. And a member of the Boston Printmakers uh, for about a year. And uh, my piece, Synthetic Connect, is in the Connect show. Um, it's a three color silkscreen print. And it, uh, the way it relates to Connect is it's about social media and this, this, um, this word that everybody uses about connection and being connected in this day and age. Uh, so I thought I would take the approach of um, looking at social media and how we're really we're synthetically connected. We're not really, really connected to people. And in fact, some, in some ways we're more isolated than ever. Um, and so the piece integrates um, an old 1950s illustration um, with typography. There's also a lot of uh, social media corporate logos integrated into it. And there's a, an element of um, hidden meaning in it because the, some of the type is flipped and reversed or upside down. So depending on what you want, you can, you can take different levels of meaning uh, from the piece if you look deeper or not. And I also um, am interested in um, notable figures of history. So I have a, a series of prints I do called Meet Your Heroes. So in the case of, well, I did one on Major Taylor, uh, who was a famous cyclist uh, around the last turn of the last century. Um, and he just has an incredible story. He's a really heroic uh, athlete and just an amazing man. As well as the Heroes series, I'm really interested in technology and how it affects society um, and also just issues in the world that are going on in the world. Um, so the, the piece with the sheep um, is all about surveillance technology and uh, the idea of you know Alexa or Google uh, watching what we're doing at home and it's the piece is called building building the cage and the idea is that the more we embrace these technologies and gadgets um, in society the the worse off we're really becoming but we don't know it yet um, I think it's something that um, if you look at society and society in general we're we're building ourselves a cage I did a piece on Trump uh, a little upset about uh, Trump in the last four years so I thought I would do a artwork on him. He's depicted as a, as a chest thumping uh, gorilla. And uh, the type that's reversed in it um, is, says bull in a china shop, but sort of set up the way he would say, he always pronounces China, Gina, it seems, which is irritating. So, uh, so it's bull in a Gina shop. Um, and you can either read that line of text or you could just see it as a graphic element. I really like the idea of having many layers of meaning in a piece. So. Uh, I like that you could approach a uh, artwork and just visually enjoy it from the get-go. But then if you look closer, you can start to read in, into elements in it. So I, I try to hide text into the, the uh, pieces I do, many times reversed or just disguised or tucked in or layered. Um, so if someone were to really take the time, I've, I've, it, basically I pepper the pieces with hidden symbols and text um, that can lead those people to viewers to um, to learn more about the subject matter. This is the most recent thing I'm working on. Um, it's for a friend's 50th birthday. It's a three color print uh, portrait of my friend. So I, I started with a whole series of different color, uh, color uh, layers for the face layer. Um, in this case, I added by hand gold uh, gold paint and then blue spray paint with uh, sort of a, wa a waxy white pencil mark and then we'll just see what happens when I layer it. I like the idea of sort of chance and um, just seeing sometimes if there'll be a happy accident in, um, in the work. So yeah, producing 10 of them and hopefully one will be So, um, hi, my name is Rebecca Lord Gardner, and I am co-founder of the Shepherd and Maudsley Studio, along with Liz Shepherd. And the piece that I did for the show Connect um, is based on shipbuilding and family history um, in Newburyport, Massachusetts. What I did with looking at the theme was actually instead of thinking about the technology of today, I thought about 
looking back in time and how we communicated mostly with letters and sometimes if your family was living abroad um, you know still in England or Europe or wherever else the way your uh, communications your letters was transported was through the ships so the my pieces are titled nautical one and nautical two and the imagery itself is based on uh, looking at a cross-section of the very large ropes the body of work that this comes from um, started out with a piece that I did at the uh, Maudsley State um, Park for sculpture at Maudsley State Park and that piece was what does Newburyport, uh, what does the Merrimack River bring back to Newburyport? And it's this combination of working with print and 3D work that helps me think about the larger, the work in its larger context. Instead of looking specifically at uh, the technology of today, which is the Zoom, um, using my phone, I really wanted to delve deeper into that history of the letter writing, the slower times, and that's what I tried to achieve um, in my screen print. Then the screen print is actually a collage um, with uh, Japanese tissue paper um, in conjunction with using um, some thread, which was to evoke uh, the larger ropes that were used in the shipbuilding. Hi, I'm Suzanne Mosley, and I'm part of the Boston um, Printmakers, and I am at the uh, Shepherd Modsley Studio in West Newton. This is my um, my space, and I've uh, wanted to talk about the piece that I submitted to the show, and um, and then take you through some of my more recent work. So the piece that I submitted for the Boston Printmakers is a polymer print that I had uh, done during a um, a, a week-long program at Castle Hill in Truro on the Cape and um, they uh, the piece I thought worked well with the connect theme because it is about um, kind of slowing down and drinking a cup of tea and doing some journaling and I felt that um, during this past year that was a uh, you know, it was a time of slowing down, a time of introspection and journaling. So I thought that was a relevant piece. Um, since I made those prints, um, I have joined the Shepherd Modsley Studio, and here I've grown a lot in some new directions with some of the teaching that I've had here. Um, I spent a year doing screen printing for the first time and really enjoyed layering. That The series that I created with for screen printing was based on um, fragmented memory. And um, it was uh, combining a lot of different details of a past relationship um, and just kind of the, the happy, vibrant memories associated with that. I did end up going from, uh, from screen printing to screen printing on woodblock. And eventually, I um, learned from a fellow studio mate how to do um, mounting onto the wood panels, and I've really liked that evolution of the, the screen prints in that way. Um, after screen printing, I started doing a lot of the cyanotype um, printing, and I've really enjoyed trying to come up with a range of color in a, a process that's really just blue and white. And um, a lot of that was done through uh, the wet process of uh, putting the, the prints out into the the sun and the weather and adding soap and vinegar and all kinds of um, different uh, properties to the prints to make them something different happen in the sun. So these are all done in the out in the sun, they're solar prints. Um, and I am enjoying now taking what I've learned from the solar printing and then adding, going back into my wood blocks and or adding screens on top. So starting again to combine the processes, which is kind of I think where I'm happiest. I tend to be more of a process artist than um, a planned compositional artist. And so I gather up an idea and a lot of materials and then I just kind of play and see what happens. Prior to being here at Shepard Mosley, um, I was in a studio by myself 
and I found that I was not very um, inspired alone and that all my printmaking learning had been done in a communal space and so ultimately finding this space and going back into a communal um, environment has inspired me both in uh, the ideas behind the work I do as well as in teaching and growing as a as an artist which is so important so and then lastly uh, during the pandemic having a community and a and a place to come and people to see and to to have some regularity was a, it was really valuable hi my name is Sandra Cardillo I'm a member here at the Shepherd and Maudsley studio I'm also uh, a member of the Boston Printmakers, and I've been a member since 2014. When I joined the studio a year and a half ago, I had no idea um, what a benefit it would be to belong to a community of artists. But during the quarantine, um, Liz and Rebecca held Zoom meetings, and we did workshops. So we were in constant contact. Um, with the other members of the studio, and it proved to be um, very advantageous. We did workshops in working with mixed media, whatever we had at hand, we had to use um, the materials, be kind of inventive, um, because we didn't all have our, pro our materials at home. So this um, gave me an idea to use an older print that I had. And the work that I put into this show, Connect, um, I made from an old solar plate that I did in a workshop a few years ago. And the way I processed the plate was um, I painted directly onto the plate, much as you would like a monoprint. And um, I exposed it in the sun for two to three hours so that it got a very deep bite. And this gave me a plate that had um, could be inked either intaglio or relief. So it was a very versatile plate. So what I decided to do is to take this plate and cut it down and take sections of it and try to repurpose it and try to make relationships between the different varying um, areas of the plate that I liked. For about a year now, I've been working in silkscreen and cyanotype. With these prints, I uh, used cyanotype for the background. Um, I made a stencil out of um, overlapping pieces of tracing paper to give me the varying shades of the blue in the background. I was trying to get a feeling of space. Um, the, I used an old wood block also, and with stencils, use parts of the wood block to create these orb-like shapes that are floating through the space. And um, I, f I felt I wanted them to be moving and connecting. The current series I'm working on um, is a silk screen again. I'm using photographs that I made um, at an area of a, of a pond area where the ice was thawing and breaking up into these beautiful patterns. And, um, but I wanted to learn how to break down the images in Photoshop into CMYK. So um, because other people in the studio were interested in learning this, um, Liz gave us a workshop. And this is another advantage of, becoming, of being a part of a studio. Um, she gave us a workshop. And um, so these pieces are the beginnings uh, of the breakdown using different colors, working with the four screens that I've made and um, just figuring out how the colors are reacting, um, putting them in different orders. Um, my process is generally gathering, gathering, um, using as much information, um, and then until the process starts to settle in and it helps me to evolve eventually into the imagery that I probably end up with. Um, it's a, it's a process of gathering and then simplifying. Coming to the studio every day, I feel, um, is very energizing. It's a stimulating atmosphere, and it's very motivating. This, the work in this Connect show, too, um, with the members of the Boston Printmakers, is a very inspiring show. It, I'm very proud to be a member of the Boston Printmakers.